Hi guys, how's it going? This is Sega Saturn Gamer 48 here. Today we are going to be playing Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, released in the year of 1999. Great racing game, one of my favorite racing games of all time. This was probably the first racing game I ever played, well, ever owned. And I have so many memories on this game. This is not my original card, I have my original card in the N64 uh, in my little dra uh, drawer. But, uh, anyway, this is great Nintendo 64 game. One of the best games I grew up with. It was released by Lucas Arts in the year of 1999. And anyway, let's get started. I'm going to play about two races and I'll end the video. This was also released on the PlayStation 1. No, I'm going to tell you, I'm sorry. I think, no, it wasn't released on the PlayStation 1. I don't think. Let me fix this iPad real quick. But it was also released on the Sega Dreamcast. But uh, this is a great racing game. Came out the same year as uh, Star Wars Episode 1 of Phantom Menace, the movie. Which is also one of the most memorable movies uh, from when I was little. I grew up with that one. And as y'all can see, I am whipping the other uh, pod racers. But I have, like I said, I have so many great memories on this game. It's one of the best games I ever played. This is my top 20 favorite Nintendo 64 games of all time. And uh, if any of you um, like racing games, even if you don't like racing games, this is definitely worth a pickup. You, you won't be disappointed, I guarantee. Now, is it better than Mario Kart 64? No, I wouldn't go that far. But it's my top 5 favorite racing games on the N64. I have no doubt about that. Let's go turbo boost. My goal is to get over 100, I mean 700 miles an hour. It's a new lap record. Bonghole, but it's a new lap record. I broke this record so many times on my other profile. I mean on my other uh, cartridge now. I am way ahead of Saboba and the other ones. But the soundtrack of this game is phenomenal. And I forgot to do like my rating on Cruising World, but I'll go ahead and say that what I give it. I give it a 10 out of 10. My own racing game for N64, and I'm gonna be uh, giving my uh, rating on at the end of this video. I'm also gonna be uploading Mission Impossible, uh, which, <clears throat> which I failed that part. Failed that part miserably. I already got it recorded, but I, I, I debate if I want to upload it. But if y'all see it, y'all know that I uploaded it, obviously. Because I failed it. I got, like, I failed the mission, so I went ahead and did the video. It's a new lab record. But, but, did, uh, did any of you have this game growing up for the N64? Did you have it on the Dreamcast version? Did you always wanted this because you've seen the movie? Did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? Did you hate, lo love this game or hate this game? Let me know in the comments down below. I really love this game. Okay, let's see. Go over here. See if we can break three new lap records in one race. In, in this race, that's gonna be really impressive. a new love record 58.44 seconds I did it I broke all three of the lap records that's impressive oh no I didn't want to play that one again sorry everybody that was so my bad <laughs> but like I said I got further than this I, w I went all the way from here and there's also another track there's like there's over 30 tracks in this game the tracks are outstanding some of them are difficult some of them are easy like as you could tell uh, the first one was like based on the actual Star Wars episode 1 pod racing and again uh, the one as a slave 
race to Boba and the other pod racers. But like the tracks, like the way they did it was so phenomenal. They did a great job on the tracks and like I said, the soundtrack's beautiful. It has my favorite song in the Star Wars trilogy from number one through six, Duel of Fates. Which, uh, also, you can hear it in, uh, when Obi-Wan Kenobi, which I used to call him Blue Soldier Man when I was little. Yeah, I literally called him Blue Soldier Man when I was little because of his blue lightsaber. And, to be honest with all of you, just to let all of you know, Star Wars Episode One is my favorite Star Wars movie in, in the series. Wow, bro, another record, 25.94 seconds, that's impressive. But, yeah... Star Wars Episode 1 is the best Star Wars movie in the whole trilogy in my opinion. Number 2 was okay, it wasn't the best one, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't awesome, but it was good. But it wasn't the worst either. And, uh, for the lap record, two, three times in a row, so six times in a total. And, like, number 3 was phenomenal, 4 was phenomenal, 5 was phenomenal, 6 was phenomenal, all of them was phenomenal, except for number 2, really. But number 2 was okay. But, um, let's see. I'll go ahead and play these tracks, also, and I'll end the video. But, like, if you listen to the song Duel of Fates, it's when Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Maul and Qui-Gon Jinn fight. But also, uh, I will be uploading more Star Wars videos on this channel. On the N64, obviously. Like Star Wars Rogue League Squadron. I've been wanting to get Star Wars Shadows of the Empire since I was little, but I never got the game. I was, I was always playing this game more out of them all. And I need Star Wars Episode 1 Battle for, for Naboo. If any of you want to trade that, uh, for, like, for a game, like, if y'all looking for a game, and you don't want to trade that, let me know, I'll be interested in it. Me and my friend, I think I said in a Cruiser World video, not for sure, but, my friend, uh, I'm gonna crash, no, go crash this time, no, my friend, JHMDF, and I is gonna be trading some stuff, I'm trading him my PS2, Chrono Trigger, and a few other stuff trading them in for like eight eight to ten and sixty four games so when I get them I'm definitely like when I get them I will be definitely reviewing them I said I'm not going to tell all of you what what I'm going to be getting because it's a surprise but I but I'll go ahead and give I'll give all of you a hint it's one of the games one one of the games I already had I had four copies of but I accidentally traded all four of them to play trade instead of two of them so ever since then I've been looking for an actual copy of this game that I'm, that, that already, that I'm telling you about not this game but but you know what I mean I am breaking records today I'm gonna, I might have to put Star Wars Episode 1 Racer uh, gameplay review breaking records I think I am going to do that Hopefully this video won't be no longer than 15 minutes, 15 minutes or less. And if it is, I won't delete this video. I'll just keep it up until I get get it where I can upload it longer, and then I'll do it. I love the snow in this game. I always have. There's something about this, like this, and uh, the first race when when you start off in Episode One Racer. Some about it. Some about the, these two tracks have to be my favorite. This and the uh, second race track also. Uh, I, I might, you know what? I don't see many people do this. I don't think I've seen anybody ever done this, but uh, make a top 10 favorite tracks of, on Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. I'm going to do that. Well, if you know my first three, go ahead and tell you my, uh, my fourth one. Probably the next one that we're going to be playing after this one. I 
I might go ahead and play uh, the second track again because I don't want this video to be over 15 minutes long and that one's going to be short. Come on, let's break more records, baby. Ah! Sorry. And like I said in my new video on, that I've loaded on Sega Saturn Gamer 48 channel, I hate the way I sound in these videos. I sound like the little kid. I also sound like I'm either drugged up or whatever. But I swear I'm not on drugs and I swear I'm not a little kid. I'm born in the 90s, mid 90s to be as I say. I'm a 90s kid. Grew up with all of this stuff. This was the first stuff that I grew up with. The N64, PS1, Dreamcast, Xbox, PS2. Late Super Nintendo and Late Genesis era. Didn't grow up with the uh, Tari Jaguar or any of them. I don't know. I probably did. I probably no. I didn't. A lot of people hate the Tari Jaguar, but I think I'm one of the only people that really like the system. I don't own it, but I really enjoy the system. Like the games on it, like Aliens vs Predator, Doom. And so on. Shoot, this is a Nintendo 64 channel. I shouldn't be talking about all of those consoles. Y'all want to see Nintendo 64 videos, right? I know exactly. They thought they was going to get ahead of me. Well, they were wrong. I smell my victory coming across the finish line soon. I'm going to predict when I'm going to cross the finish line. 5:45. Like five minutes and 45 seconds when I move across that finish line. Nope, wrong. I'm going to say 547. 548. Okay. Didn't break all those. I didn't break the first lap record, but I broke. I broke the lap record and broke the race record. But I'm gonna. Uh, let's see how long this video is. It says 12 minutes. If I wouldn't have enough time to do this right here, because that would take six minutes in the total. That would be 18. But if I could upload longer, I'd be doing that one. Trust me. So I'll be doing this one, and I'll end the video. But who was your favorite character that? Um, that you played on Star Wars Episode 1 Racer and again, which is kind of annoying in this game. It's a Bulba, Tomito, or whatever his name is that I'm playing as. But what, uh, but who's your favorite, uh, character to play as on Star Wars Episode 1 Racer? Let me know in the comments down below. Any comment that I asked in this video, let me know in the comments down below. And feel free to subscribe me because I will be uploading videos often. I guarantee I will be uploading videos often on this channel and Sega Saturn Gamer 48. Tomorrow I'm going to be uploading Friday Night Wrestling with Sega Saturn Gamer 48, which is me. But Sega Saturn Gamer 48 Friday Night Wrestling. I'm going to be uploading that tomorrow because it's Friday night, obviously, and I got my iPad working. If I got my iPad working, I'm going to be uploading. I'm hooked to my N64. I'm like a, I'm like a drug, I'm like a drug addict with his drugs. I'm, it's, I don't do drugs, but I'm hooked to the N64. I'm in love with the 64 like a drug dealer is in love with his drugs, for example. I don't get offense about that anybody, but, yeah. Okay, so I play four races in the total. Play the, uh, beginning, like I played the first race. Bray, broke, broke the new love record. So how many records did I break? Six? I don't know. But I played the Bonta Training Course twi one time. Then I played the Mongaza Speedway twice. Then I played Beta's Wild Ride. Well, and I played as Timo Pagalize or something like that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. This is Sega Saturn Gamer 48 signing off.